Hey everybody, it's Ashley with Local Bob, and I'm at Robert's Sale today with my friend Dennis Potter here at Outcast Ministries, you guys. This is the, the thrift store right across from Regions Bank, and um, you guys have got to come check this place out. Dennis started this ministry, what did you say, two years ago? Two years ago. Two years ago, and it is going crazy. So I want to show you guys the thrift store, so come on in. <laughs> and then you have all kinds of stuff in here. You name it, he's got it in here. Tools, cookware, clothing, glassware, toys, books, all kinds of stuff. I love it. Customers, which is a good thing. And yeah, and there's some customers in here, so let's go this way. <laughs> let's go check it out. <laughs> so Dennis, um, I know you've got a lot of things coming up in the future for Outcast Ministries, right? We do. We, uh, we are, as we'll show you here shortly, we, we've got our outpatient services going. We are a full inpatient service. We've been doing that. We've just been small. We've only been able to take three clients at a time. Uh, just got to go ahead an hour ago that we are now moving from Foley to Loxley. So excited, you guys. This is uh, incredible. Absolutely great news. I could flip over backwards. I know. But, <laughs> but we, we should be up to a 30-bed facility pretty soon. Oh and uh, we're, we're not going to videotape that today or where we're going. We want to kind of keep that closed mouth right now. But here within the next four months, we will definitely be able to take it up to 30 people. Oh, my God. So we want to get to be a 60-bed facility, 30 men, 30 women, keeping them separate. That way, if you come in addicted as a family, your husband and wife, we not only can don't have to separate you, but we can keep you together and you don't have to your kids will be able to come and we don't have to split the family up right. while we give you the help needed but right. not only are we going to treat the addiction we want to do vocational rehab which you will see in a little bit mm -hmm. yeah we're going to um, check that out we're going to have a welding shop woodworking shop and a nursing school the nursing school will not be here but anyways yeah, let's, let's let you come through here and, and see oh, what we yeah, got awesome pans. Cookware. so everything that's donated here goes back to this ministry we are a 501c3 nonprofit ministry if you donate to this ministry we can give you a legitimate tax receipt that is we're we're, we're square with the government we're a legitimate 501c3 so if you make a donation to us, we can give you a legitimate tax write-off. That's awesome. That's and awesome. And everything non, goes back. Everything to goes back. This we, ministry. You will meet Miss Mann in a second. Yeah, she let's volunteers do that. here. I don't receive I a salary. That. No, you don't. <laughs> but the, these are our shoes. Oh, yeah. So it's games for kids. You guys, they've got so many things in here. Definitely encourage you to come in here and check it out because it's definitely going to a worthy cause, and you're not just putting some money in somebody's bank account. So, I, oh, yep. Oh, and they got some nice little purses. Purses. I love it. Dresses. Mm-hmm, some jackets. Bags, jackets. Yeah, there's a little bit of everything. I know there's we've some even tools got, up front. We've even got scrubs for our nurses. Oh, <laughs> love but it. But anyways, <laughs> let me walk you in. Yeah, let's box. go back here, you guys. This is where they're opening up the facility um, to take some inpatient, and they're gonna be doing outpatient as well. I love this. We are under construction, so yes. forgive the mess, but this is where our outpatient, uh, not only our outpatient, but our Wednesday night church services will be taking place, um, and our outpatient services where we're treating people and our intake desk, but we're working on getting, we've got the hall painted. Yeah, I love the way. This looks great. Um, we'll have the large version of the 12 steps, 12 traditions here. Um, this is where it kind of gets messy because we're still under construction, but I'll, this is where we're going to have clothes so folded and put in there. Uh, I'll let Chris pan in there, but mm -hmm. uh, we're, when we get donations ready, we'll put them up in there and have folded shirts, folded jeans. That way when something goes slack up front, we can yeah, just pull. pull. Mm -hmm. um, this is going to be... It, uh, this place is huge back here, guys. This is going to be where our AA meetings uh, take place. This is also going to be where our Wednesday night church service takes place for that. Bible study. Mm -hmm. And this is going to also serve as the waiting room for people coming in uh, that need to check in with us. This will be the intake uh, desk right here. This is where all of our clients, whether you're an outpatient or inpatient, 
We'll check in. Miss Mann's going to work this when God sends us someone else. But yeah. This is the pastoral office in here. This is where we're already doing outpatient services. If you need counseling, this is also serves as the pastoral office where we do pastoral counseling. Mm -hmm. And this is where we do the one-on-one -on -one work, one -on -one with outpatient services. Right. Um, well, I got to say, Dennis, I love what you do here. And it's so important right here in Baldwin County. I, I agree. I mean, if we had nine more treatment facilities, I don't think it would be enough. I know, I know. It's a disease, guys, and it's real, and it's right here. Um, so. We'll walk through here. Yeah, let's and go check out what they're going to do to class, guys. And uh, This is where you, we're about to take you and show you now. We believe that if you just treat addiction and you throw people back out into the world and don't give them skills, then they go back to sure. doing what they knew to do. So we are going to have here, this back section is gonna serve as our welding school. I was a first class structural welder. I'm going to train welders. We will work with the local shipyards to guarantee them a job when right. they finish here and that. they'll sign a contract. So they can come while they're in our facility, get a job skill, come out of our, our job skill training and go right to work. When it's over. Yes, and we're also gonna do a woodworking shop back here. We're gonna put a wall and we will have a nursing school, but that's not gonna be here. Right, okay, cool. Let's come check it out. So right now it is full of stuff. And so this is probably something you're thinking about. You said uh, next year this will be, this will be up, up and going as your goal. This, this will be up and running next year. We're going to, uh, put a divider wall right in front of these two doors right here and this will be the woodworking shop over here and this will be the welding shop over here and, wow. and the good thing about being a charitable organization is that we will get grants yeah. the government will give us the the tools to put in here the woodworking tools the welding equipment and we will be able to train these people so we don't just have to throw them back out the door. Yeah, because that, that always doesn't work. No, it, it didn't work it for me. But work. but that's pretty much the tour of our facility here. We're getting a place where we just got the okay for Loxley. Yeah. And so we're going to start that move immediately. But a lot of exciting things. Happen. I know. I know. I'm so excited, you guys. So definitely come here in Robertsdale. Come see Mr. Dennis. If you know somebody who really needs some help, um, please reach out because uh, we're ready. <laughs> and we love local vibe and they do a great Aww. work in our community and <laughs> Ashley and Chris are wonderful people and I just wanted to say that they're good people and invite them to come and see you and promote your business. <laughs> you guys have a great day. Thank you, Dennis. Bye. <laughs>